Hi, what, um, what I'm going to try to show you today is I'm going to try to show you one of my early season tent shirt rigs. It's a, a worm kebab rig. Um, I use it uh, for obviously for worms and it's been around for a long time but uh, what I've done is I've done a bit of a twist to it in as much as I use one or two more pieces or items of end tackle but it does I think help me out on um, getting the worms not masking the, the hooks and this is the uh, that's the rig I use so this thread the worms in through there push the disc up so that you trap the worms and then this little bobber slide up the line like that and that should actually hold the the worms away from the point of the hook so as soon as the tench comes along and sucks the bait up then the hook is not uh, covered and you should get a really good bite so that's what we're going to uh, have a look at today and see if we can uh, tie this uh, tie this rig up as I say it's pretty straightforward and these are the uh, bits of kit you need to uh, to start it off so here we go this is um, some of the bits and pieces I use for the rigs for the tying of the kebab you can see that um, this is the rig here um, fairly simple we'll learn how to tie that fairly uh, fairly soon but I use um, fluorocarbon uh, hook link and I use ESP soft ghost and Corda IQ2 both in 10 pound breaking strain um, I use also some push stops here which are uh, again Drennan um, and the reason I use that particular one which is the smallest one available is because that um, that it's got the smallest diameter and it doesn't do much damage to the uh, too much damage to the to the worms when you're threading them on so uh, so that's part of the equipment that I use. The hooks, Quorum Specimen, Microbarb, size 10, or Cryogen Classic, size 10. Uh, both Microbarbs, as I say. So what I have got here as well is I've got some little mini bobber stoppers they are. You can buy them so cheap on the internet. You can buy 500 for just a few pounds. So I use those uh, in the rig just here to push the... Um, disc up tight against the uh, push stop and that holds the worms in place but um, we'll see how to do that a little bit later on right let's have a go at uh, tying the rig we just saw so what I'm using here is I'm using some uh, ESP soft ghost 10 pound breaking strain as I say what you want to try to do is, is try to cut off a piece about eight or nine inches long I guess so uh, and, and a little tip here is cut it at an angle as well and I'll explain that to you a little bit later on so there we go let's cut it at an angle first thing you need to do is to put one of these uh, push stops on the line so that's the Drenner ones as I say they're low diameter so they uh, they are pretty good now <laughs> this is where it becomes very difficult if you take them off of the holder like that then it's bloody difficult damn difficult to uh, to thread them up whereas if you've got them like this one of the easiest things to do is you can see the hole in there because you've cut the line at an angle you should be able to go straight through he says <laughs> actually I think it's the other end <laughs> let's have a go there we go so that's gone straight through so once you've got that pushed up on there you can then just work it off great and so you can see you've got the push stop on there now okay now i don't do a knot or tie it on what i do and find it really really useful is just to blob it on so just warm the end of the fluorocarbon like that perfect and then you see that you formed a blob there and that's not going to come undone so that slides up and down really quite well so that's really good so I'm quite pleased uh, with that and as I say you've probably got about eight or nine inches of, uh, of line there next thing to do is to with your rig foam which you've got here just cut off a small disc you only want a couple of millimeters because you, what you don't want to do is you don't want too much on there otherwise it'll just float up off the bottom so just a couple of a couple of millimeters depth is uh, ideal really so once you've done that I just make a small hole with the baiting needle through the foam like that pretty straightforward and get your line
and thread your line through the center of the foam like that. Okay, and then push that up until it comes to rest on the stop. Then the next thing to do is to get your little bobbers stops. Here they are. So these are as cheap as chips. They're float stops and you can buy these on the internet. You can buy, I don't know, five, six hundred for just a few pounds. So I buy mine. They're probably made in India or something like that. But, but they are cheap, cheap as chips. So what I do is I put that through the loop and just pull the bobber off or the bobber stop off like that and just thread it up the line. And what that does is that acts if you like as a mechanism to trap the worms against your push stop there. Can you see that? That's where your worms are going to go, just in that part there, and then you just push that up until you trap them. Now the reason you're trapping them is to keep them away from the hook as much as possible. So as I say, quite a, it's, it's just a slight change to the way that most other people uh, tie it up. And I find it works really well. I've, I've been using this rig for a few years now, so it works really well. It works really well for the perch as well, <laughs> incidentally. So, uh, so there you are. So next thing to do now is to put a hook on there. So what I'm using are these um, Corum Specimen Micro Barb size 10s. Been using these for a good few years now, and they really are good, good, good hooks. So, just take the hook out, keep the line, thread it through. Now, what I like to do here is I quite like to have about an inch, I guess, from the bend of the hook to where the push stop is okay so about about an inch and that'll become evident a little bit later on and then what I do is I just then do um, a knotless knot one two three four five six seven eight nine and just tidy that up push it up to the to the eye then backwards through the eye to make sure you get that really aggressive 90 degree angle which will help the hook hold. So look at that. That's really good. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that rig. That looks good. And then to finish the, the rig off all you need to do is a figure of eight knot on the end. with fluorocarbon but there we go just get a, a bait and needle pull through and pull it a little bit tight like that and then just trim off the tag end So that's it. So we've probably got about four or five inches there, I guess, from the uh, from the hook to where it's going to attach to the main line. So that's not too bad. Right, let's have a look and see how we uh, put the worms on, shall we? So here we are. We've got three uh, three worms here. These are uh, Dendrobrina worms, and they're uh, they're a medium size. And I get my worms from uh, Willy Worms. Um, so these are the size I got. And what I tend to, to, to do with these is I'll, I'll cut two of them in half. Then it's pretty straightforward really. You get um, your beta needle. Just push it through the, the bayonet or the push top like that. So you can see that that's uh, through there. And then what I do is I pick up four parts of the worm, just push them through there. Through 
through the second one, through the third one, and then finally through the fourth. So then just pull the push top away like that. Just move the worms down gently with the piece of rig foam. Then finally with the bobber, just move the bobber down so it's not too tight. And that's it. That's the, uh, the rig. And it works really well. And as I say, the worms are short enough that they don't mask the, uh, the hook. So that's, uh, that's really good. So I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at that on the table, shall we? So that's the rig. You can see that the, uh, the worms are really wriggling around. They're not going to probably reach the hook, which is really good. But that looks so inviting for a tench, that. As I say, you clip the ends off and all the juices roll out. And you fish this in, in conjunction with, uh, with a feeder. And I'll show you that uh, in a moment. So this will be the helicopter rig. You can see all the components there. You can see the really small push stop there. You can see the rig foam there and the little bobber stop there. Everything looks really so good there. It's just a writhing mass, isn't it? No tench could refuse that. Let's take a look at the feeder, shall we? So, this is the, uh, the feeder that I've been using. This is the uh, Drennan ground bait feeder. 60 grams, so reasonable, uh, reasonable weight to it. So I can cast this a good 60, 70 yards, absolutely no problem, so I use this. But what I've done this year, I've done something a little bit different. I've uh, coated it in some uh, Gorilla Tape, some Camo Gorilla Tape. Now, it's got a matte finish on it. Whether it makes any difference, I don't know. But I'm always just looking for those one or two percent differences. And I just, I just think that if you have a look at that and then take a look at that, that's just wrapped around there. I'm, I'm going to do some underwater filming just to see how it gets on, but I think this one here with the camo looks looks a lot better in my mind. But who knows? Let's uh, let's have a look. But as I say, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for that um, that really that one or two percent difference because uh, it does make a difference. Right, let's have a look at that end rig again, then, shall we? So what I've done is I've done a figure of eight loop on there. And you can see it's quite a short bit of line there. It's probably four inches long, something like that. So it's quite a short uh, helicopter uh, rig. And then what I have got here is, that's my main line. And that's got a quick change swivel on there and a couple of uh, Drennan gripper stops. So you can see that. So. Uh, and then that's just finished off, tied to the to the feeder like that. So what I do is I just put on a, a rig sleeve there onto a bait and needle. I'll put the loop in there. Just it's a bit fiddly at times. Just. Pull it the loop there and there's your rig sleeve fit on there and finally what I do is just connect that to the quick change swivel get the sleeve and push it back up over a swivel there and that's it that's the uh, that's the rig that's uh, how I fish it then what you've got to remember is what I do with the feeder is I plug it with a, some ground bait in the bottom. Then I put in some worms in there, some chop worms and one or two hole worms and I just plug it with ground bait on the end. Not too wet because you want it to uh, break down fairly quickly and come out. And that's cast out. 
And that's the rig that I've been catching most of my tench on over the last couple of years. Lethal rig, absolutely lethal. Easy to tie, doesn't tangle, works a treat. In another video I'll show you about um, the caster rig that I use. And that's in casters in PVA, so uh, but that looks fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed watching that.